Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an absolute banger of a video and that's going to be my third video on N8N. We're going to be using N8N to automate the OpenAI GPT-40 image generation API that just came out and use that to create images and videos for whatever we want. So before I start this tutorial, I want a little bit of context on how important this really is. First off, we're gonna be using the platform N8N, which is an automation platform similar to Zapier and Make.com, but it specializes in AI integrations and is absolutely blowing up. Here's a Google Trends of N8N, Make.com, Zapier, AI automation. And as you can see, N8N has just exploded over the last few months and so has AI automation. And, and that's because you can provide a ton of value with these simple tools. Next important breaking feature is a few hours ago, Sam Altman tweeted that ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation was now launched on the OpenAI API. And that is super important because before you'd have to chat with the interface on ChatGPT.com, but now that the API is open, you can go into your automation and call it directly and do this in bulk and do so, do so many things that weren't possible before this. I want to give a quick shout out to my ex or Twitter, x.com slash mentor. This is my personal AI page and I've been getting a lot of followers from my last few videos. So thank you so much for all the support. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, you'll probably recognize I had two other very similar N8N tutorials, and I've also made videos on ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation and some of the many various business aspects that you can create using that technology. If you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend you see them before this. I cannot express how good of a skill set learning N8N, Zapier, Make, or any of these other automation platforms can be for your professional career, if you want to create to start up, if you want to manage ads, pretty much in every circumstance, it's extremely good to learn this technology. And in this video, I'm going to first overview how this basic automation I created in the last hour works. And then secondly, I'm going to go step by step and teach you how to implement it on your own. I'm going to below drop an entire export of this JSON file that you can just click here, click import from file and it will generate everything for you and all you have to do is put in your account information to get started but I'm gonna first walk you through the full process so the first step we have here is a test workflow trigger this is the default use this to get the automation up and running in the future you're probably gonna to want to replace that with a schedule trigger which will allow you to run this every X amount of minutes of the day or however you want if you want to batch through hundreds of pieces of content or whatever your heart might content the second one is a Google Sheets. We're going to be pulling from this document that I created. It's fairly simple. It has a status field with a done and to do, image prompts, video prompts, and then the end result is the URL. So it's going to create this image, it's going to animate it with this video prompt, and it's going to give the result. So I'll show you what the first result is. And this is on the heart eyes emoji. So you can see it generated this video of this little plushie rotating in 360. And then we'll go over to the next emoji, which is the fire emoji. This is an example of what it looks like after it goes through the automation. And then the third one we have is a skull emoji. This one animated a little bit weird, but you get the point. And I get it. This video is super trivial. We're just using emojis and we're just proving the concept. However, this could be extrapolated to many, many more concepts with the ChatGPT 4.0 image as it's really good at design, it's really good at placing text and whatnot. And here's an example of a company trading card, little stock tile, whatever you, you wanna really call it, that I made for a company. And we could essentially use this automation to have someone, if they wanted one of these generated for themselves, enter in a little form, their name, their logo, their blah, 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 that would send it off to this machine, it would generate the image, it would generate the video. And you can see how you can generate assets that you could use for advertising, use on your website, and so many more concepts. Anyways, I'm going to be going through this trivial emoji concept that I built out, but keep in mind that I'm going to be releasing a part two of this video where I'm going to go through a lot of more, I'm going to go over a lot of other ideas that you could sell to other people, create a service for, or whatnot, that have a lot more practical use cases, but I'm going to need a few days to go through all of the potential ideas I have in my head. So the next step is we're going to hit the OpenAI GBT 4.0 API, and that's essentially like 
chatting into ChatGPT and giving it this prompt and it comes out with this result. So all my other videos were based on models like Flux and whatnot. This is going to generate a super high quality output. And then we're going to need to go to this next step. This step, all it does is it transforms it from the version that ChatGPT gives it to us in to a PNG that we can actually see. Then we're going to upload that to the internet so we can generate a video on it. We're then going to go to the generate video tab. This is going to be using Kling's AI. Now currently the API only supports Kling 1.6 which is still a very good image generator, image to video generator. But if you see my video on Kling 2.0 is by far the very best and I'll show you kind of manually how it looks like when you do it on the website although we're going to be doing it through the API. And then the next step is we're going to be waiting for that to generate. It does take a little while, and this is the bulk of the time in the animation. And then we're going to be getting that video, and then we're going to be putting that video onto our sheet where you can see those results, and then iterating the, uh, the to do to done so we only generate it once. So, in a nutshell, that's the entire automation. Now I'm going to go into each node of the automation and teach you how to set it up yourself. Okay, so. Let's get into the steps. If I go ever too fast in this video, make sure to reference my previous videos where I go very into depth on every single step. And most of the steps follow pretty much the same format other than the OpenAI step. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a new workflow on our N8N account. And then you're gonna wanna hit the plus right after this trigger. And then you're going to type in the sheets function like that, I already have that here, so I'm gonna be popping that open. So you're gonna to wanna to connect your Google account to your N8N, you need to do that before. And then you need to make a sheet with this format, with status, image prompt, video prompt, URL, and then you could just type done here, um, or sorry, to do here for all of them to start. And then put in your image prompts, your video prompts, you can use ChatGPT to come up with them, or you can just copy mine, or basically do whatever you want. So N8N, the format is, this is your input here. There's no input because it's just the trigger. This is the current step, and then this is the output. And that's basically how the format works. So we're gonna wanna do the get rows operation, and we're gonna wanna do the sheet within document. We're going to choose the file, which is, this is my file. And then you're gonna want to, I call the first one generate, so you're gonna wanna call, uh, go to the generate or whatever your first sheet is. And then you're gonna wanna do a filter, and you're gonna wanna status, to do so the column should be status and then the value should be to do and you're going to want to do add an option and add this option return only the first matching row so you're getting the first row so you're basically generating one at a time after you finish you should test the step it should output this in this case we were on the sixth uh, row status to do it gets the image and video prompt and we're on to the next step the next step you're going to want to hit a plus and you're gonna to want to do HTTP requests. That's gonna be the bulk of this video. So we're gonna open up this one, and this one is going to the ChatGPT API. So you're gonna to wanna to do the method of post, so that's gonna be sending data to the API. And keep in mind, all the text I'm gonna have in a document in the description. So you can copy and paste most of these things. Um, and the first one is gonna be the URL. You're gonna to wanna to use this URL um, that comes from their documentation. And then you're going to want to set up your account. Now this is the important, this is a very important part. You're going to want to do generic auth type header auth, and you're going to want to set this up. So you're going to want to have the name as authorization, and then below, and I'll have the text on screen, it's going to be capital bearer space, and then your API key. And I'm going to show you how to get your API key in just a sec. Okay, heading over to OpenAI's platform.openai.com. You're going to want to go to this tab called API Key. I don't want to open it because I have other data on there I don't want to show. Essentially, you're just going to want to click Create New One. You can name it whatever, and then you need that key that should start with SK. And now that's a private key that you do not want to share with anyone else. And you're going to copy that. And then going back to N8N, you're going to type Bearer Space and then paste that key. And that's what the value is gonna be here, and that's going to make it so it routes through your account on OpenAI. If you don't have an account, obviously make sure to make one. And once we have that, everything should be good for that part. And then we're gonna go down to the send body. You're gonna to wanna to turn that on. You're gonna want body content type JSON, and then specific body using fields below. 
you're going to want the first one's name to be model and then you're going to want to do gpt-image-1 that's the one that just came out today and then the next one that you're going to want to create is going to say prompt as the name and then the value what you're going to do is drag this variable from your last output into here to have it um, as you want it and then the next thing is going to be the name not honestly really sure what this is supposed to be but we're just using one as an example because that's what the API was you're going to copy this code it's essentially two brackets capital number and you're you have to transform it because it thinks it's a string into number so this is the solution that I came up with you could just paste that in there and then your last parameter you could keep in mind click the add parameters if it doesn't have enough is going to be size and then we're going to do this size there's a few sizes it works with if you try a random one it will throw an error and tell you which ones you can do and that is pretty much the setup for this and this is the most important part because this is the actual ChatGPT API that just came out and then when you click test step keep in mind you're going to have to click test step every time to make sure that this input field shows for the previous one once you have the test step done it's going to show this and your output is going to be this b64 json which is just this garble of text and we're going to translate that into the actual image so we're going to go to the next one you're going to want to do a code uh, a code node and you're going to want to make sure that it's javascript i'm going to give you the code to put in here but essentially we are taking this and make sure that your output from this one um, output disappeared but the default output should be to just name it data so just make sure that the data name corresponds to this data yeah output right here and then this is going to take it from something that's non-seeable to an actual image the next node that we have is a, another HTTP request so just hit that plus uh, load up that node you're going to want to do a post and now on the URL you're going to want to give this URL and then replace the thing after the equals with your key you're going to go to imagebb.com make a free account really quickly get your key because you're going to need, need it to upload it and then you're going to do a you're going to untick these your authorization is in the URL so you don't need that you're going to do by content type form data then you're going to want NADN binary file the name is image and input data field is just data because your image is just going to be called data by default here and then once you do that it should upload it to a URL that we can use for the next step now for the next step we're going to be using Pi API's Kling API if you don't have this set up you're going to want to go to piapi.ai you're going to want to create an account same thing you're going to want to get your API key in this um, platform we're using this just because it's super simple I loaded it up with ten dollars worth of credits to start um, you're not going to really need to look through the documentation because you could just copy it from me but you're going to need to set up that account and get that API key so all of these I think you could do for free obviously you have to load this one with some money to have it run the video generation if you do not want to run the video generation and turn it into a video you can just completely skip this and just use the image URL or the image and put that into the document and save a lot of time and money processing but for this example we're going to go through animating that image because it looks kind of cool so we're going to do a post we're going to do this URL I'll have that in the description generic uh, credential type header auth and then I connected my um, my Pi API key so you, your name is going to be this x dash API dash key all just like this and then your value is you're just going to copy that from that website and and make sure that you have that correct then for the you're going to want to toggle on send body body type is going to be JSON using this JSON I'm going to give you this you're going to copy it in and all you're going to need to do and if you ever get stuck on these go to my other video I go a little bit slower through the process but for prompt we're going to want to go here and drag the image prompt variable in between these quotations and make sure that this block shows up as green if this block shows up as anything other than green you're going to want to basically just delete everything after the prompt 
in between these two quotes, drag in that image prompt. And then for the image URL, you're going to want to make sure that that has the right URL. You're going to want to go scroll up to the more recent um, image BB step, and you're going to want to take that URL and then just drag it between these two quotation marks. And once you have that, I believe everything should be good. Yes, you've generated the videos. Now you're going to want to do a plus and you're going to want to do a wait. And now the thing is, you sent in the request, but it takes a while to generate. Kling, I've been doing on an eight minute interval, so I'd wait for eight minutes before you do this. Keep in mind, you could schedule this automation to go over and over again, and you could also do it in parallel. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, um, but you are going to want to set an eight minute wait um, just to be safe. It takes almost always at least five minutes, I've noticed recently. And then you're going to want to do a plus to another HTTP request for the git video. In this, you're going to want to do the method of git. You're going to want to do the URL you did for the last one, which I'll have in the description. Then you're going to want to put one more backslash. And then you're going to want to take this task ID and drag it here to this variable so that that URL has the task ID. Your same thing here for the authentication. You're going to want to have it so you have this XA. Uh, API key, your API key that's obviously hidden below it, and then you're not going to need anything else because it's just getting uh, the results, and then you should have this right here, and then the final step is going to be the Google Sheet, so we're going to do a Google Sheet update row, same document, and then you're going to drag, you're going to want to do column to match on, and you're going to scroll down and drag that row number one into here. So we're going to go on to that original row. So for the status, you're going to want to set it to done. This is going to make it so next time you run the automation, it doesn't run the same row. It'll go search for the next row and do that. And then the URL, you're just going to want to drag that um, the result tab from from this last uh, Git video. You're just going to want to scroll down find the result or the output video URL and just drag that into here and then you should be good. Then that's going to write these and as you can see I, I ran this automation two more times. We'll just pop this open here and you'll see that we have the peach animated and pop this and we should have the robot animated and there we go. That's pretty much the entire thing. Now I'm going to briefly show you how to import all this, but you're still going to need to change your keys and your headers and connect all your accounts to get it to work. Okay, so in the Google Doc, at the very bottom, I'm going to have a JSON. You're going to want to copy all that text, go into a text editor, and save it as a JSON file. Then you're going to go to the dot dot dot, import from file, click this file, and boom, everything should pop in. You're going to obviously need to have your authentication headers. And then for image BB, you're going to want to make sure to have your key here instead of mine. And then you should be good. And that's pretty much how you import it. And that's pretty much all the steps. Now, I know I went really fast on this video. If you get stuck on any step and you get too confused, reference my other two videos I did on edit and automations. Other than the GPT step, almost everything is the exact same. And one other caution. It may not let you go through the OpenAI if you haven't or, uh, had your organization verified. So on your OpenAI, platform.openai.com slash settings organization general, you're going to need to go through this verification where most likely you have to submit your ID. And that usually takes about 10 minutes. And you have to do that. At least I had to do that before I could get this video to work. And yeah, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. And keep in mind, I will be posting a super long masterclass, essentially, on using NADN to automate workflows that go through ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation to generate stuff that could be actually very practical for running ads and all these other things. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, for me to drop that video. I've been waiting so long for this. I've been in my room just contemplating what type of video to make out to make over the last few days and Sam Altman dropping this was just icing on the cake and I'm super happy I was able to make this video. 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.